Hello guys and welcome. This is going to be a new series that I've got in line. It's going to be a PSV career as my past Real Madrid career actually got corrupt or something as I can't open the save anymore. With the save I have seen the first season. Um, well not Cinder, I've seen most of it and this is the team that I have. I made a few signings, Steve Ridge I did bring in, Pat Stewie I also brought in, uh, with y'all, I can't pronounce the names very well, I know who they are but I just, I'm terrible with pronouncing names. Which Naldon, I had really trouble keeping on to him last season as he did want to leave, he rejected a contract, but eventually I did his salary quite a bit and he did accept so thank god for that it's our substitutes i did bring in a lot of youngsters um i usually say brought in sahar but um players that have been found through the scouting network youth uh, things you see there's a lot of 47s 54s 50s but there's one standout player as you can see there jack dyer he's 66 rated already He's age 16, he's got five, 4 star weeks but 3 star skill moves, he looks really promising and I will be eventually bringing him into the first team as PFC and PSV themselves have a great young team, our first game is up against Ruda and it took me a while to get playing with PSV, I'm not going to lie, the first few games that I did play I struggled quite a bit um, no, Ruda, they're, they're not the worst team to come up against but with our calibre and the team we have, we should be really at least two, three past them. Um, the first chance came to us there was straight at the keeper, and it was kind of identical. But they had a free kick and it went straight to the keeper. Um, with this, I will be trying to get at least two or three seasons done done before um, D15 comes out. Um, I'll put in at least three games an episode. I love the ball there, that's true. Brilliant footwork. Gets past his man, he got fouled, but he carried on and Ronaldo plays with the ball into the box as a pop and it's a good save. Um, but yeah, I will be showing less of the game, I'll be just showing mainly the goals and good, 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 good chances we have. And the corner comes in, put a ball in, and our young, the young man puts it in the back of the net. I'm not too sure who that is actually. I haven't got used to the actual players and that so far, sadly enough. I know most of them, but by looking at them on the screen, it's hard. But that was the half-time score. I think it was Head Hedjinj. I can't say names. I really can't. But another corner comes in the second half. Cleared off the line. I think that was Rekic, the former Man City man. But I did make some subs. I brought on Zaha, took her off and the pay. And this young guy, he looks pretty good. I can't see who else I brought on there. I'm throwing it out black. That's my bad. My bad. And um, here we go again in midfield. Playing with the ball. Van Kohen, I brought on. Lovely ball at the top. The Sage is through. And he hits the bar. Very close to getting his first goal for the club. As you can see, we dominated. Nice shot. Seven on target. And they only had the two and the one on target. It's first win in our first game of the PSV Eindhoven series. And we go straight into our second game. The team we're rolling with there. Ravine. And they got off to a great start against me. Um, brilliant bit of play. Nothing I can really do about that. And oof, so close to going in. They were on the door. That was a bad pass for me there straight away. And they kind of swear it. Bit of a trampy goal. But that's FIFA for you. So they go one. They're up 20, 20 minutes into the game. And it's just cleared off the line, comes to Carly there, and it's just blocked. I thought it would creep in, but it didn't. And at half time, as you can see, we, I just couldn't get into the game. It took me to the 90th minute to pull off a little bit of good play, magic, magical bit of play if I got Carly running through the team. And a nice little dink through there to his mark, and he just coolly puts it away in the 90th minute. And he saves us for our first loss in the second game. It was a brilliant bit of play there, and it's, we get the draw, we sneak, sneak the draw, should I say. And probably, looking at the stats, we just, I don't know, we played much better in the second half. First half, I just could not get into it. As you will see here, we, it was an even game, and probably deserved the draw. It was very tight, it was uh, all about the midfield in that game. And they played really well. That's all, also, I forgot to say, 
Uh, we bring in Wanyama there, brilliant signing, only cost six mil. Um, I got offered the job for Chile, and I accepted it, and went to the World Cup. The joke of the group had Italy and Portugal, and someone else I can't remember. Um, there he's go there, Shivoli, so very close to getting going one nil up. That would kill me. Um, but yeah, bad bad play there. Ronaldo goes through. As I was saying, we got the, uh, into the World Cup. We just got through, and a very sloppy goal there. Sorry, the goals are going in while I'm trying to explain. <laughs> um, yeah, we got through. Italy topped the group. We cup went through second, and in the last 16, we got France, and we played pretty pretty well. Um, we beat them two 0 and in the next round, we came up against Brazil, and they absolutely sorted me 5-1. Nothing I could do. Here's the pay here, brilliant strike, which is great save by his keeper, paid back it in, and... I think it was, was it a flag? No, it was, it was a corner, sorry. Bacardi with the corner, cleared away. He's marked, he's got a great shot on him, but this definitely wasn't one of them. He's got a good shot power. He say two shot powers, not too bad. So half time we lead 1 0 once again, totally dominating the game. 7 shots, 5 on target. They've had more possession, really well enough. Yeah, 73 minutes in. Ronaldo here, lovely strike, right into the back of the net. Keeper do nothing about that. And we go 2 0 up. So I don't know, I think I was starting to get a feel of the thing because I changed the formation up with bringing one armor in. I played the 4 3 3 with a CDM. And it was great. But look at this, I don't know what the hell the keeper was. I ran straight past the keeper, that's Dewey there. But Hijmark picks it off the keeper and he has an open goal and puts it in the back of the net. I have no idea what the keeper was doing. I've never seen that happen on world class, let alone fucking professional level. But we do nick the third goal, as you can see. But I don't know, look at that, where was he going? <laughs> He didn't at even attempt to like, clear or anything, he just just ran into him. As you can see from the uh, full time stats, 13 shots, none on target, they had more possession. Uh, we had dead, only 3 shots, and none on target. And here I'll just be running through the squad report. Joran Zuet, he's, he's a brilliant keeper, I'm not going to lie. Um, You know, he last season he had so, whew, so many clean sheets, it was unreal. Uh, Jvil brought in from Fernoy, he's, he's, he's quality, really good. Hishmar there is 22 year old, 3 goals in 3 games. Not too bad if I say so myself, the little little beast. And what I'm trying to do with this uh, save is I'm um, trying to bring in like homegrown players, so that's either Dutch players or possibly you know, English and or whoever I'm managing in the national side. So anyone from, any youngsters from Chile for example. Um, but yeah, mostly I have brought in Dutch uh, Dutch players at this moment in point. Apart from Zaha, brought him in, and um, that's Stewie. Um, but all the youngsters that I bring in are either like Jack Dyer, he's either they're either English or they are. Um, I can't get my words out. Dutch. <coughs> so that's the route I will be going down in this save. At the end, just to really, I can't give away that again. Fuck, you know, reiterate what I was saying about the Real Madrid career. That is finished, so we'll just carry on with this save. And that'll be the end of episode. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you later, guys.